In the north of the Cadia Riverlands lies the home of the ninjas, Scarlet Shadow. Many years ago, the earliest disciple of the Cadia Riverlands defender, who is known as a great dragon, built the Scarlet Shadow together with his followers. He was also the one that invented the special skill of ninjutsu. After his passing, the ninjas of Scarlet Shadow split into two factions. One became known as the Scarlet Sect, who focuses on the use of ninja tools, while the other one became known as the Shadow Sect, which focuses on the art of ninjutsu. Because of the different beliefs, what makes a ninja a true ninja, many fights broke out between the two sects, which ended up many times in bloody battles. Having learned many horrid lessons from ninjas fighting each other, the two sects came to an agreement. Both sects will send their children over to the other sect, to receive training from the other side and to form a special bond among the younger generations. Hayabusa is the second son of the Shadow Sect leader. To fulfill the agreement, he was sent over to the Scarlet Sect as a young boy. This is where he met Hanabi for the first time, who is the oldest daughter of the Shadow Sect leader. They arranged for Hayabusa and Hanabi to grow up together and if everything went well, for them to marry once they are grown. Together, they would form a strong bond between the two sects. Both of them had no idea, of course, that their parents had their life planned out already. Hayabusa wanted to follow into his brother's footstep, who was a very talented ninja and was in the run to become the next leader of the ninjas, the next Akakage. Hanabi, on the other hand, is supposed to be the next leader of the Shadow Sect. And to be a worthy leader, she also trained Relentless. On their first encounter in the training session, Hanabi was defeated by Hayabusa, something Hanabi had never experienced before. The proud Hanabi couldn't accept the humiliation of losing a fight and from that day on they grew up together as childhood friends and rivals. On the eve of each full moon, Hanami did her utmost to provoke a fight between them and after a while it became their tradition to test their skills every month on that day. Whenever Hayabusa had the day off, he would rush home to spend some time with his brother. His brother always had a smile on his face, but he was also most of the time very tired, completing one mission after another and only having a few days of resting. However, Hayabusa's brother was very kind-hearted, so he still took him up into the mountains or went fishing with him. Only together with his brother, Hayabusa seemed like a carefree child and he really enjoyed the days together with his brother and also with Kagura when she would come around to visit them. Where the hell is she coming from suddenly? Yeah, yeah, I was about to explain that. Kagura is another childhood friend of Hayabusa, who he met for the first time at the memorial of Seimei. And who the hell is Seimei? Can you shut up please? Okay. Upon the Kadia Riverlands, there exists a mysterious profession called Omyoji Master that uses the yin yang arts to control spirits and see into the future. The Great Dragon awarded the special powers to one of his own disciples to channel the yin and yang in the people of the Kadia Riverlands. There was once an Omyoji Master called Seimei. He was so powerful that he could even bring the dead back to life and some say he is still living till this day because of his secret yin yang arts. He's the one that created the Seimei umbrella. It can transform into different shapes, use the power from a hundred ghosts and it is believed that it has its own mind to be able to choose its rightful owner so it can never be used to do evil. For centuries though, the umbrella just laid quietly inside of the Seimei shrine, becoming some sort of religious object for the people. This changed however when Kagura went to the memorial for Seimei for the first time. The naughty orphan girl secretly climbed up a tree outside of the shrine to have a look at the inside of it. While she was climbing, Hayabusa noticed her. He was there on an invitation with his family and while looking around out of boredom, he spotted her. He was not the only one who noticed her though. After she climbed on the top of the tree, a couple of adults noticed her as well and got very angry at her for possibly angering the great Ancaster. Kagura though refused to admit her fault and argued that she only climbed the tree because she heard someone saying her name inside of the shrine. While arguing with the adults, Kagura slipped and fell off the tree. Hayabusa reacted quickly and rushed to the tree to save Kagura. At the very moment he catched her, a large umbrella bloomed above the two kids. Both of them reached out for the handle and once they've reached it, they were floating soft and safely to the ground. It was the Seimei umbrella who chose Kagura to be its next rightful owner. The crowd shouted in surprise, while Kagura just stared at the big umbrella in her hand and smiled. So, it was you who were calling for me. Why did the umbrella choose Kagura you may ask? Well, Kagura is a descendant of Seimei, something she herself doesn't know since she became an orphan when she was a baby. From that day on, the Seimei umbrella stayed together with Kagura and Hayabusa and her became friends. Hayabusa, who was a little older than Kagura, saw her as a little sister, who he wanted to take care of just like his older brother took care of him. And Kagura was very happy to have someone to play with who she could call a big brother. The years went by where Hayabusa would train together with Hanabi and have great days together with his brother and Kagura. 
Until one day, his brother told him on the road home, I need to head out. It may be a long time before you see me again. Hayabusa knew that you didn't ask question about a ninja's mission, so he simply nodded at his always smiling brother. And so, his brother left, never to return. Hayabusa slowly got used living without his brother, but deep inside of his heart, he was always waiting for his brother to return. Come back! Look how much I've grown! I'm almost as good as you are now! I miss you! One day, he was suddenly sent home to his father. The face of his father seemed almost to be frozen, while he told him, Your brother's mission is now yours to bear. You're now my only son. Hayabusa's world collapsed at that moment. All of his training was to step into his brother's footstep. And now that his brother was gone forever, what was he supposed to do now? His father also revealed the mission his brother went on. The first Akakage had used secret arts to create some sort of shadow demon. It was created to act as an opponent for the ninja training. After a while, it grew its own mind though and started to devour him. Disaster followed. After many losses, the demon was sealed away, but a part of it managed to escape and ended up taking control over the most promising ninja of that time, Hanzo. He became a demonic form of his prior self, stealing away the treasures of the Scarlet Shadow and causing a massacre before fleeing. And this betrayal of Hanzo became the great shame of the shadows. Countless elite ninjas were ordered to eliminate this dangerous target, but each of them failed. Hayabusa's brother was only the latest ninja who got sacrificed. By this time, Hayabusa was already a teen and the sole purpose of his life became to train Relentless to get revenge for his brother. Each month on the eve of full moon, he and Hanabi would continue to test their skills. Over the years, Hanabi actually developed some feelings for him. Although they never spoke much, the reflection of the silver moonlight in Hayabusa's eye slowly burned into Hanabi's mind, before she could even notice it. The ninja training she received taught her though to never reveal her emotions, so she never spoke her mind and kept her feelings for herself. Hayabusa was also still taking care of Kagura, whose life changed dramatically once she got the Seimei umbrella. Just like Hanabi, Kagura also developed some feelings for Hayabusa, who was the only one who was treating her normally and didn't see her as the holder of the Seimei umbrella. Hayabusa never realized any of the feelings the two girls had for him though. He only had revenge in his mind. The day of the coming of age ceremony came around and Hayabusa and Hanabi both were about to participate in it. However, Hayabusa caught wind that Hanzo has been spotted in the village south of Scarlet Shadow. Determined to get his revenge, he packed his bag and left his house to fulfill his mission. By sheer coincidence, this was also the day of the full moon's eve. So the day where Hayabusa and Hanabi would test their skill on the rooftop. Hayabusa felt like he should say goodbye to his childhood friend and rival. But since it was the coming of age ceremony, he wasn't sure if she would even show up for the meeting. Little did he know that Hanabi planned something very special on this day. She dressed up very nicely and carefully prepared a bento that she made for Hayabusa. Her fingers were covered in cuts and burns, while all her failed experiments piled up in the kitchen. When she finally prepared a perfect bento, she let out a sigh of relief. With this bento, she will express her feelings to Hayabusa. When looking out of the window, she saw the rain that was pouring down on the streets. Not wasting any time, she rushed out into the rain without an umbrella. At the same time, Kagura also dressed up to attend Hayabusa's coming of age ceremony. By accident, she listened how the seniors were talking about Hanzo's sighting and that they think Hayabusa will leave Scarlet Shadow to fulfill his brother's mission. The thought that Hayabusa would leave her made her very sad and she thought to herself, what should I do now? The Seimei umbrella answered this question for her by flying outside and waiting for Kagura to step outside as well. The Seimei umbrella is right, she said to herself. I will find him and follow him to the end of the world. When Hayabusa stepped out of his house, he had mixed emotions. But before he even could walk much, his way was blocked by the Seimei umbrella. Kagura ran towards him, pressing herself close to him and said, Hayabusa, I want to go with you. Hayabusa waved a finger at her. Listen here, this isn't a game. I'm not heading out for fun. But Kagura didn't care. As Hayabusa's name left her mouth, the young girl that needed her bigger brother's help was no more. Kagura had become an all-new person to be able to travel the world with him. Just then, lit up by the flash of lighting, Hayabusa caught sight of Hanabi. She finally found Hayabusa, but saw that Kagura was leaning close to him, frozen to the ground. Hanabi told herself, Hayabusa saw me. I can't run away. 
She forced herself to walk up to them, each step feeling like a tremble on her heart. Without a second thought, Hayabusa handed the sodden Hanabi an umbrella. It wasn't until she stood before Hayabusa with a blink expression that she realized that she was still holding the bento box that was meant to express her feelings. Hanabi ignored the umbrella Hayabusa handed over and coldly nodded to him, just like she would on the training ground, before quickening her steps to hide in the rain. He could do nothing but swallow the goodbye he prepared. Goodbye Hanabi, goodbye Scarlet Shadow. I will start my journey now, force myself through the most grueling training imaginable. I must become stronger than anyone else before me, even stronger than my brother was. And Hanzo, I will find you and I will kill you. With this thought, he left the Scarlet Shadow together with Kagura. After some time, Hayabusa entered a quiet and foggy village. He heard that this was the location where Hanzo was hiding. Soon he realized that he wasn't alone anymore and he got attacked by another ninja. It was not just one ninja who attacked him though. It was a whole group of ninjas, including the target of his mission, Hanzo. Hanzo escaped, so Hayabusa's mission wasn't over yet. I hope you enjoyed this video and now you check out my guide about how to become a perfect assassin so you can become as strong as Hayabusa is. See you over there!